Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Mega Man 04 for the Game Boy Advance. Okay, it was months ago that I did Mega Man 03, and now I think it's a good time to finish the series. That way I can focus on other stuff, like other series that I've still yet to finish or even continue. Wow, this game was made in 2005. That wasn't very long ago. Like, six years? I was still in college, like I had graduated from high school in 2004, and well, this is the final game of the Zero series, so they're going to go out with a bang, they might as well do a game like this. Uh, play as normal, because there's no hard, well, right away, and I don't feel like playing on easy. Okay, so we get a really nice intro that tells all the story of everything that's gone on lately. The Reploids. They were robots designed to look like humans. These technical marvels were given unique personalities and were intended to be the perfect workers and the perfect partners for mankind. But, the wheels of peace between Reploids and humans were beginning to grind to a halt. Reploids, I believe they were made around the Mega Man X1 era. The Reploids were well designed, perhaps too well, their humanity began to sow the seeds of rebellion. The rebels were labeled mavericks and feared by their human masters. The humans decided to pit Reploid against Reploid. That was the fate given to them. The Reploids fighting for humanity were never given a choice. Thus, the War of the Machines began, and the humans just watched. What? It's hard to find good shit on TV these days. War begot war and time passed. Even with the, the construction of the utopian human city, Neo Arcadia, the war dragged on. The Mavericks defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia, and now Neo Arcadia is under the control of the criminal Dr. Whale. The former utopia is now only a shadow of its former glory. Many have started to flee the city. These events happen at the end of Zero Three. We are one of those groups fleeing from the clutches of Dr. Will in our caravan. Okay, so this intro is being narrated by humans that are trying to escape from New Arcadia. Meanwhile, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which only has one tree, and there seems to be a high speed chase on the go. We got a great big convoy! Dun, dun, dun. Oh shit, purple people. Ah! I should have grabbed a faster car! Uh, scratch that, you should have grabbed a car. That's not a car. Nige, they're catching up! I know, I know! But this is as fast as it goes! Shoot! Dr. Will is trying to bring us back! With purple people that are being shot at. And of course Zero comes in to save the day. Because he's Zero. And he hates purple people. Zero? Can you hear me? The enemy is heading for the caravan. Help them. Understood, Seal. Commencing mission. Seal, I'll need some help with the trailer. Oh wow, a woman driving? Who'd have thought it? No wonder this game never sold well in the Middle East. Okay, so you get like a new feature. Like of course you got the Z-Bust, er, and the Z-Saber. But you also get this new weapon called the Zero Knuckle. Or Z-Knuckle. And it allows you to steal weapons from enemies. Yet whenever you kill an enemy with a Zero Knuckle, you actually get their weapon to use. Some of them has infinite ammo, and others don't. I think I'll hold on to the Z-Knuckle. And ships are stuff that I can equip on 2-0 to make parts. Well, actually, you need parts from enemies that you kill to create ships. You need a recipe of parts in order to create ships so you can equip to 0. Okay, attack mode, I want to set to B. That way I can use R to select my sub-weapon. And B for my main weapon. And the rest of these are just fine. Okay, and I don't have a Cyber Elf yet, but that's upgraded too compared to the other Zero games, and more on that later. But first, let's get down to business. Which is obviously, kill enemies! 
There, whenever you use the zero knuckle to kill, you actually get their power up. In this case, I get a flamethrower. Pretty cool, huh? And if you don't like the weapon, just hit select to throw it away. Actually, pressing select itself can be used as a weapon as well. You're throwing the weapon, so there you go. See, the zero knuckle comes in handy to actually get rid of the shield. Hey, try shoot me again! Okay, so it doesn't reflect, but rather but just stop the attack. Which is pretty nice for defense. Burn, bitch! Actually, I'll just get rid of this again. I'm a very indecisive guy, I know. But yeah, this is just an example of how you can use it. And remember that enemy with the shield that I just killed and got a wrench? That's actually a part. Whenever you kill an enemy, you may get a part. You're not going to get them all the time. Be sure to collect as many as you can because it'll really come in handy. I promise you that. Hmm. Eh, what the hell, I'll just use the Z-Saber. I want to hold on to these bombs because they could be really good for the mid-boss. Oh, what are they called again? Oh, Burst Bomb. You can actually go into the pause menu and see what the name of the weapon is. If you actually cared about it. Sela can only hold on to three. So it's not like I can just use the Zero Knuckle again. Remember, when you have a weapon equipped, you cannot use the Zero Knuckle. You have to actually throw the weapon away and then be able to use it again. Zero! Damn it, bitch, you're supposed to go make me a sandwich, not drive. I'm detecting heat signatures. Zero, something's coming. Nah, that's your period. Y you know, you have those once a month. Bring the trailer closer. I'll take care of it. Gotcha! Gonna go for a ride, and what the? Okay, that seems like some kind of mechanoloid or the world's largest dildo. Looks like some kind of sand ship. Whatever it is, I'm gonna ride it. That seems like such a cool thing to do. Hmm, actually, what I can do once I kill that enemy, I can use a zero knuckle to go for a ride. Or just hold up, and now I can climb on top of it. There, I'll just hold down and the jump button, and I can get back down. I have no reason to stay up. Let me just keep going naturally. Okay, this looks like the mid-boss right here. Okay, just looks like some kind of cannon that shoots at you. So I'm gonna use my burst bombs right away. Dash under that, otherwise you're gonna get hurt. Okay, now I'm all out of Z out of burst bombs. So I had to use a Z saber. When it turns red, I'll just get over here. Where it's safe and I win. That's a very easy mid boss, it only has three attacks. Mission accomplished. Only took me 2 minutes and 42 seconds, that's not too bad. Yeah, there's also a new feature in 04 called Weather, and I'll explain that later as well. So I got an A ranking, that's pretty good. Yeah, that must be the humans we saved. It looks like everyone is okay. I'm surprised to see someone crazy enough to drive out here in the middle of nowhere. Do you always give lectures to the people you save? Well, thanks anyway. Nage, we don't have time for this. Let's go. You're right, but there's time to say thank you. I don't want the Reploids thinking we're ungrateful. Prepare to leave. I'll be there soon. All right. No good can come of dealing with Breploids. Ugh, somebody's a stereotypical bastard. You're human? Yes, we are. Are humans outside of Neo Arcadia that rare? 
Probably. Zero! Zero! Um, take it that woman knows zero. Zero, I'm glad you're okay. It looks like the vehicle is okay too. Wow, the vehicle survived a woman driving? Holy crap! Thanks to you both. You saved us, Dr. Seal. Huh? How did you know? Who are you? The name's Nage. I'm human, just like you. I used to be a journalist who traveled the world. That's why I heard rumors about you and the Resistance. That you led the Reploids against Neo Arcadia. And are supposed to be very dangerous. Dangerous? We're not... I've heard a lot about you, too. I knew you were in the Resistance when I heard Seal call your name just now. So you're the legendary Reploid, Zero. We don't want any strange rumors being spread about us. There won't be. I'm just telling you what I've heard. But others might think differently than me. I'll be seeing you. It's time for us to get going. Going? Where are you going anyway? If you're human, then why don't you just stay in New Arcadia? Um, because whales there? You put all this together just to escape from there? Just stay there? Because we're human? You must be joking! Wait, you don't know, do you? That place has changed. Didn't you see us getting attacked just now? It's terrible. It doesn't matter anymore. Human or Reploid, it's all the same. Anyone that opposes Whale is treated like a maverick. The evil Dr. Whale who was driven away from Neo Arcadia, he controls all the energy and production there and everywhere all because some hero defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia. The great sanctuary for us humans is no more. But then that means what we did was... Oh, that's right, when we defeated Copy X, Dr. Whale became the leader, leader of New Arcadia and caused this little Iron Fist rule. The humans are afraid of being removed if they oppose Whale, so he rules unchecked. Kind of like a dictatorship. As long as they stay quiet, they stay safe. But who knows how long before Whale decides to get rid of them, too? That's why we fled from that place. We're heading for the settlement in Area Zero. Area Zero? There's a human settlement there? Then we'll go with you! Who knows when Whale will strike next? Well, Seal is human, but Reploids aren't welcome. Especially heroes like you! What's that supposed to mean? The settlement is full of people who are caught up in the Reploid War, so they don't take too kindly to Reploids. Humans aren't as strong as friendly as you might think. No kidding! Have you ever, like, seen so many lawsuits in the States these days, and surprisingly even Canada? They're not strong or friendly. I won't tell the caravanners that you are Zero that defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia. Don't get us involved in anything. Talk to you later. Yep, and there they go. Humans, huh? Zero, we should get back to the trailer. Right. Good to know they kept that caravan to scale. Something about the caravan bothering you? Yeah. I was shocked to hear that all the humans at the settlement hated the Reploids. It's just I've... We fought so hard for the Reploids that I didn't know other humans felt that way. Didn't they say the settlement was in a place called Area Zero? That's where we should be heading too. They're struggling to maintain their independence from Whale, and we have to help them. Do what you feel is right. Thanks, Zero. I just need a little more time. Women, they always need time for everything. Even when it comes to planning missions and stuff. Now would be a good time to drop by servos for some maintenance. After that, come and see me in the commander's room. Oh, before that, I'll save your data. Okay. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of practicing, but I didn't play as far to beat the game yet. 
All saved. I'll be here in the commander's room. If you ever want to store your data, just drop by. Ellipsis. Okay. Oh, servo is over that way. To the lab. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Zero. You hanging in there? Need a little work? Those dust clouds are something else. No, I'm fine. Alright, but don't overdo it. Did you try out your Zero Knuckle yet? You probably already know about it, but it's a weapon on board a chip implanted into your hand. It gives you a big strength boost that comes in handy when attacking enemies or stealing their weapons. It doesn't work for every enemy, but for the ones it does, just finish them off with a Zero Knuckle to grab their weapon. By the way, what's your next move? Seal is looking into Area Zero. I think the humans there need our help. Looks like you got your work cut out for you. If there's anything I can do to help, don't be afraid to ask. Oh! I almost forgot something important. Enemies sometimes drop parts. You might be able to use some of those to make new chips. If you want to try making one, just let me know. Okay, but I don't think I have enough parts to make a chip. Not to mention I wouldn't know what parts make up a chip that I need. You sometimes have to find recipes or you have to experiment. And sometimes you'll find some hints, too, throughout the game, if you're lucky. Hey, Zero. I asked Seal to let me look after the new elf. I'm a little worried if I can do a good job or not. Huh, a new elf? So they got a little new feature there, which is pretty good. I hope the new elf comes soon. Which apparently I do not get yet, but I will eventually. I'm gonna go talk to the people. Hey there, Zero. Have you heard about the Weather Changer? Let me just briefly explain it. It's an orbiting satellite capable of altering the very weather. It's still a work in progress, but it should be online soon. There are only some areas it can be used in. Depending on the area, a change of weather might make it easier or harder to progress through it. Hey Zero, the Zero have you heard? Seal's been waiting for you. And that's very valuable information. Hey Zero! I just received word from, from Seal. She'd like you to go see her in the commander's room. You don't want to keep Seal waiting. Yeah, I know, because she's already on PMS, and that's just going to make her worse. Let's see how she's doing. Did you find out anything about Area Zero? Yes. It's not far from here. Nage and the others should arrive there soon. Area Zero is, in the, is the site in the Maverick Wars where the space colony Eurasia crashed. Oh yeah, Eurasia. That was back in Mega Man X5, and was still around in X6 as well. Though technically it was still ruins. Many lives were lost there! Area Zero is the painful reminder of a war long past. And a painful reminder that Mega Man X6 existed too. Humans are living there now? You got mail! Data about Area Zero has been sent from the Resistance base. Since the crash of the space colony, the section has been sealed off. But apparently the land has been renewed in that time, and nature is becoming more and more abundant. Nature is coming back to Area Zero? It's said to be due to environmental systems still left active after the crash. It's not much, but it still means hope for humanity. Have you managed to find the human settlement? There was not enough data to pinpoint an exact location. We need to conduct a closer investigation of Area Zero. Zero, can you head out there and check it out? We'll be following in the trailer. Going to Area Zero? Um, actually I am, but I'm gonna do that in the next part. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching.